DNAM37. Two drops, and it works really well, just like Maru only lasts a bunch longer. Anyways, hey YouTube, it's me, Spotty. Let's get stuck into this Aosu GTS M unboxing. Packaging is actually really, really nice. And of course, it comes with these Team Moyu cards. By the way, there's also spare magnets. But getting into what we really want to see. This is pretty different from what I was expecting. It's very sandy first off, and I do like the size. It's a little bit smaller than my Wukwe. I'm pretty sure it's 60 centimeters rather than 62, which doesn't sound like a lot, but you can feel a difference. Um, it does feel a little bit blocky and not as fluid as my Wukwe, but that is set up, so I guess that's kind of to be expected. Also, this is my first magnetized 4x4. So the magnets, are not that noticeable at all on the outer layers, but on the inner layers they're quite strong I would say. They definitely give the cube a much more bumpy feeling. The magnets are so strong in the inner layers that it almost makes the puzzle feel less fluid, but it's probably just a different feeling that I'll have to get used to. Corner cutting is pretty good, forwards is good, reverse is a little bit lacking right now. But it's alright. But yeah, it's a nice puzzle. I'm definitely liking it. The biggest plus right now that I see is the size. I really like that small size. And yeah, as far as performance goes, I do think that it lives up to this flagship kind of standard. I will be playing around with this some more to see how it gets over time. And I'll update you guys really soon. So it's been a couple days and being used to a Wukwe, the Yasu GTS feels comparatively blocky, almost like a slightly more rounded Guansu, which wasn't a cube that I really like the feeling of at all. The feeling isn't as soft as the Wukwe, the best way I can describe it is it's just hard or kind of harsh feeling, and also crunchy. It's not the worst thing in the world, but compared to other options, namely the Wukwe, it's not as pleasant or satisfying, and it's the biggest thing that I think would make me not switch to this puzzle. In saying that, there are a bunch of really attractive features that this cube has, such as its good performance. I think the performance is pretty great, and my times are really good on this thing. I also like the size because it fits in my smaller hands more comfortably, and the magnetic strength isn't perfect, but it's not something that I have a problem with. And finally, the price at 3550 US makes it the most affordable magnetic 4x4 that you can get currently on the market. Especially considering the price, I think this is a very good buy with potential to become people's mains. I'm not quite sure if it's going to be mine though. But those are my thoughts a couple days in. Let me know what you think of this puzzle and whether or not you'd like a full review. Anyways, thank you to speedcube.com.au for sending this guy out. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.